These are all just abandoned weapons. PPE. And there's no guards at all. I could just grab an AK if I wanted one. All the M4s. Ammo. Play carriers. Radios. Over there on the other side of the tarmac, you can see all the Afghans lined up. Place is turning into Mad Max quick. Over there on the outskirts of Kabul. I mean, we're well within striking distance. The Taliban is starting to get angry at us more than they are. This is where all the Gurkhas were set up last night, waiting for their flights out. Abandoned luggage everywhere. Abandoned Toyotas. Anybody want a free bulletproof Toyota? They're here. All right, man, and, and what you see is the extreme cowardice of Afghanistan's and also the uh, um, ignorant side of wars as nothing is gained from them. So now you have American troops who have fought rigorously in, in these wars, some people spending years within that country fighting, fighting very stressful, difficult, dangerous, life-threatening type conflicts against these people ultimately to say, see as the end result of these Taliban fighters with the with the possession of American made weapons and now these will be the weapons that these folks will defend their country with and I have nothing against the Taliban when it comes to that being their country them stepping up against an invading force which happened to be a country in which I served in the military with um, but wrong is wrong, right is right. But hopefully they're not over here mistreating their damn people. People are in fear, but you see the cowardice of many of the men in Afghanistan. Cowards. Cowards. That's all I got. Catch you on the next one. Peace.